Hey guys, Ashley here. Today we're going to be flipping through the classic size Happy Notes and Happy Planners that the Happy Planner sent me in my first squad box. I'm not going to flip through the classic size accessories. A lot of it was um, insert paper and like block pads and that kind of thing and, and we know what those look like. So I think flipping through the planners um, will give you a better idea of what these things look like inside as far as that goes. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to start with the skinny classics. Now this one I've already started using and I'm using it as um, a way to do a scripture a day, but I absolutely love this one. It is so stinking cute. I love that cover on it. Holy cow. Now this one is um, a part of the wild style collection. So the dividers and all that stuff are wild style themed. So we've got our cover page and it started in July. And these ones here are like your monthly. So you know how in a normal size planner, there's that whole monthly spread. This is your monthly. So you guys could, this would be a great on the go kind of planner to have two to stick inside of your purse. Um, and then you guys could jot things down in the monthly when things are due or, you know, appointments, whatever, that kind of thing. And this was last week in it where I did a scripture a day. This is the current week that we're on. And that's what a blank week looks like. And every every month, the weekly pages look just like this. So we have August. There's September. October. November. Love those colors together. December. January. February, March, April, May, so cute, and June. So this is a 12-month planner. And then that's what the back cover looks like. Now this one is also a 12-month planner. Um, I believe that maybe this was a part of the Stargazer collection, but don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% for sure. It's sometimes really, really hard to keep up with all of the release dates and stuff. Oh my gosh, that inside cover is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. That would look so cute with these discs too flipped around. So let's go ahead and see if every month is like that. Yep, okay. So then I'll just show you the dividers. Okay, so that is that classic size, skinny classic. And then this one is a Happy Notes, which you guys, I absolutely love this one. The paper in here is really, really cool. So it's got the rocks on the front. Let's just go ahead and take this stuff off. When we open it up, we have three divider tabs over here. And the paper on the inside of it, the top section is dot grid. And then down here, it's lined at the bottom. So I love that. It's a little different, um, kind of cool. I think this is a great little, this would be cool for school. Cool for school. <laughs> I didn't mean to rhyme on that one, but like um, I plan on using this to help me study medications. Um, and I'll show that uh, on my Instagram or whatever whenever I start doing it. But that's what I plan on using this for. So let's look at those other divider tabs. And all of the paper is the same. It all has the blue stars down the side. So there's that Happy Notes. 
And then the next happy notes that we have is the Squad Goals one, which is actually a guided journal. It's got 80 sheets in it. That's the cover. That's the inside, which is absolutely gorgeous. This one has four dividers in it. And when you open it, the way that this is set up is basically you plan out your week on this page, these two pages, and then there's daily pages. So here um, you've got this week's goals, write a quote, um, important due dates this week, three things that can help you achieve your goals, three role models that inspire you, write about milestones from the week, and then this can be really whatever you want it for. Um, I've been using one similar to this one inside of my planner and I absolutely love it. And then these are the daily sheets where you write your date, you got your main goal for the day, tasks, um, write three positive daily reminders. This one says write an encouraging message to yourself. Um, something that made you feel hopeful. This one says, what are you grateful for? And at the bottom, they always say, what is one lesson you learned today and three wins from the day? Like this one has um, write a motivating message, three positive reminders, encouraging message to yourself. So these are just daily sheets and I really love this. I think this is a great way to start your day is to kind of plan out your day here. And what I really love about these ones is they're already kind of decorated. So you really don't have to use stickers in them unless you wanted to, you obviously can, but I think they're super cute. I really love them. And there is um, enough for like, if you start your day, your week here, and say you use this one on Sunday to plan out your week, you would have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday would start over again where you're planning out your week. So there's that one, and then the rest are gonna be the same. This is the next one, next abider. That's cute, very cute. And then the last divider. So that's that happy notes. Super cute. I love the guided journals like that. They've got really good prompts in there. So that one's really cute. And then from there, I got my custom happy notes, which says Ashley Anderson on the front. That's the inside cover, which I love. And this one I do believe is also from the Stargazer collection. These are the discs that they sent me for it. The paper inside is dot grid and it's got the black on the inside. And it has three dividers in it. So that's that one. And then for this planner, this is an 18 month uh, planner, it's a vertical layout. It goes from July of 2020 to December of 2021. Super cute. This one is extremely colorful. I don't something about this currently page, you guys. I literally love it. Like I never hardly use the currently pages, but I just love the setup of these ones. It's super cute. There's July. There's what the monthlies look like. And let's see, the monthlies do change colors. So you've got blue, this like light peach color, blue, light peach. So they just alternate. And then the weekly pages for July are blue and I'm pretty sure in August, yeah, they change, okay. I really like this too, it says weekly highlights, which all of these things you can cover up whenever you're decorating it. And then this is August, and I'll show you the weekly pages here because they're gonna be different colors. And then that one is September. In September, I do believe, yep, we're back to the blue for September. So now I'll show you the monthly pages, or the dividers.
Okay, so that is the Squad Goals 18 month vertical planner. Super cute, super cute. And then I also got this one, which I actually started to use. This is an 18 month, 18 month vertical lined hourly layout. I um, added this, I frank and planned this one into my current planner, which I did change since my planner setup video. So um, I definitely need to update you guys on that. So that video will be coming soon. I really like this inside cover on it. That one is so cute. So July is not in here because like I said, I franken planned it into my regular planner. So this one is August, but this is what the July currently page would look like. This is the monthly. This is the weekly and July is actually the blue here. So it alternates between blue and pink at the top, which I love this so far because I've been doing my three priorities here and then kind of planning out my day as far as um, like kind of like block scheduling, which I love to do. So I'm loving it so far. And then it'll alternate back to the blue. And then we'll flip through the dividers. And then I did receive one other planner. Um, if I can find it, I will put a picture of it right here, but I actually took it and I set it up for my mom. I'd been want wanting to get her a planner anyways, and it was nice to be able to do that for her. So like I took the planner and I put some dividers and stuff in there. I showed her how to use it. It was funny because um, she's like, I'm not, now I'm not buying any of the stickers. She said, I'll be obsessed with it like you are. <laughs> oh, come on, mom, you can buy the stickers. Uh, so anyways, I did get her started with that one. Um, and that was the, the last, actually, that was the last classic size planner that I had had. Um, but I did go ahead and get it set up um, so she could start using it in July. So I don't have it to flip through. But those are the classic size planners and happy notes that I received inside of my first squad box. And the video that is coming up next will be the big stuff that I received inside of the squad box. So I will see you guys in that next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and come hang out with me on Instagram.